Hello friends, this is Joy Banaji and this is the second video on which we will discuss about EMC Power Path. Okay. So specifically we will discuss about EMC Power Path and its command line like EMC Power Empty is the command. So what are the day to day activities which we, which we do and we run a command like um, I will show you up what are the commands but let me uh, give you a quick understanding that what exactly the EMC Power Path is. Okay. So in the last video we have discussed that why we need, uh, let's say we have one server here and this is our storage, okay. So when we create a LUN here, okay, let's see we have created a LUN and we have masked that particular LUN to the server, okay. So when we mask a LUN to the server, so that this particular LUN is having multiple RAIDs, okay. So they are connected with a whole, whole storage array, okay. So that means they are in a RAID form, so one disk fails, the another can take over, okay. But what will happen if this particular network uh, is uh, broken, okay. So that means the OS is going to lose that particular disk. So for that, what we do is we give multiple paths to access the same particular LUN. That means to access the same same disk from multiple paths. So we can have more than one path like two, three or four paths to access that particular single LUN or multiple LUN. It's, it depends how many, uh, how many um, uh, paths you have configured. Okay. So when we configure paths, we are having an OS which also need to understand the algorithm of multipathing. To understand the algorithm of multipathing, we need to put a layer and a software which can manage our multipathing. So EMC PowerPath, one of the tools and the software's tool set which is provided by EMC on which it can manages the load balancing as well as the uh, path redirection from this particular tool. Okay. So we also need to get a license for this. So I will let you know how we can really uh, install in a different video uh, on this particular power path, how we can install, how we can upgrade. So we have a separate video for that which is already scheduled in our next few weeks probably. So in this particular video I will show you up what are the power empty commands which we can run. Okay. So let's move on to my screen and I will show you what are the commands to run. Okay, now we are in a screen. So in this particular server, we have power path. So and it is installed. So I will be running few commands and let you know how the power path runs and what exactly we need to run. Okay, so we need to use power empty. Okay, so power empty is the command uh, let which we need to run. So let's say we run a power empty display. So it is going to display all the paths which are there in this particular server. Okay. So as of now you can see there are no paths available. So if we do power empty uh, version, so it will let you know what exactly the version we are in. Okay. And if we do want to check the license key, which, which we have already installed in this particular box. So what we need to do is for that we need to do power empty check regis underscore registration. Okay. So this command will let you know that um, this is the registration and uh, this is how you can uh, okay, so uh, what else we can run? Like we can also check like power empty display, and uh, then we can use like devices equal to eleven. Uh, sorry, devices equal to all. So it will list all the devices which are visible and along with their multiple paths as well. Okay. So um, if we want to check what are the options of the command of power empty which we need to run. So in that case, you can do power empty help and you will see there is an option called power empty display and then uh, latency um, display options, then display performance bus, display port mode and display ports. So there are so many other options as well. So uh, I would like to share with you one of the important uh, command which we generally run in case of removal of paths or not from the OS. Okay. So let's say. This is one of the box on which we need to uh, check like uh, run um, uh, power empty check reconfigure. Okay. So what it will do is it will try to check uh, the existing path which are available and if we run with uh, power empty check so it will just refresh the settings which it is able to understand. So now you can see I do dev, dev all okay power empty dev all it, it says like 
it is having two paths so what i am doing is from the back end i am removing one path from the storage but identically it should remove uh, from this particular uh, disk you can see i have selected disk 1 okay sorry disk 0 and that particular disk is having two paths okay so what we will do is we will uh, remove the path from the back end from the storage end and make sure this particular path should not be visible um, uh, to the OS okay so to do that what you need to do is ideally you should reboot and uh, this is a command which we want to really show you up like doing this reconfig and then running the check so this is uh, how you can do it okay so what you need to do is you can go ahead and uh, So we can go to our properties and go to the device manager. I just want to open a device manager and uh, try to do a refresh from uh, device manager as well. Okay. So if we open device manager in the actions, we can do uh, like we can select an, uh, any device and we can do scan um, all devices. So it will try to refresh what are the devices are coming into this particular OS. So it will try to scan the hardware. So this will also help after doing the changes. I will um, uh, prefer to run this and then I will uh, go back to this uh, CLI and uh, run the command once it is complete. Also, uh, we can also check, like you can see, these are having some Cisco uh, HBAs, okay. And uh, sometimes uh, the changes which, which, which are made they take some time to replicate, okay. So you need to just uh, make sure you have removed the zoning uh, from the correct storage um, ports. So you can see these are the FA ports which we can see. So it's we need to just make sure that we have just removed them from the correct ports. So uh, they that they should reflect over here, right? So these are the two ports which are available, and um, we we have removed one of the port from here. So we need to make sure that. Uh, that that also get removed from the OS itself as we have done it from the back end, right? So you need to make sure and just to keep a watch on the path when I run the command. So you will see that uh, once I run the command, it will so it will going to uh, show you up the remove path. Okay. So I need to run power empty check then reconfig. Okay. Uh, okay, so I need to run reconfig. So when I run this, after running this, you will just keep an uh, keep an eye on uh, the both parts which are visible here. Okay, so when we run it, you can see there is a red mark over there, and after that, we can run check, and it will say yes. I will do A, and then it removes the other part. 